we are asked to solve the given linear equation in one variable. To solve the linear equation, we need to determine the value of the variable that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. To do this, we need to isolate y on one side of the equation. Also notice how the given equation contains fractions. We do have an optional step where if we want to, we can clear the fractions from the equation before solving, or we can just solve the equation in its current form. We will actually solve this equation two ways. We will first solve the equation as given, and then we'll come back and solve it again by first clearing the fractions from the equation. So the given equation is y over five plus y over two equals three-fourths. The first step of the equation is to simplify the left side of the equation. Notice how both of these terms are y terms, which means we can add them or combine them, but we do have to first obtain a common denominator. If we have a denominator of five and two, the least common denominator is 10, which means we need to write both fractions as equivalent fractions with the denominator of 10. So for y over five, we multiply the top and bottom by two. And for y over two, we multiply the top and bottom by five. Notice now we do have a common denominator of 10. We have two y over 10 plus five y over 10 equals three fourths. If it's helpful, we could write two y over 10 as two tenths y and five y over 10 as five tenths y. Let's go ahead and do this. This gives us two tenths y plus five tenths y equals three fourths. Two tenths plus five tenths is seven tenths, which means two tenths y plus five tenths y equals seven tenths y. We have seven tenths y equals three fourths. And now we need to multiply or divide to solve for y. Seven tenths y means seven tenths times y. So we're probably thinking we should divide both sides by seven tenths. But remember, dividing by seven tenths is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal, which means to solve for y, we will multiply both sides by 10 sevenths. On the left side, 10 sevenths times 7 tenths is equal to one because they are reciprocals. One times y is y. Or if we need to, we can simplify. There's one 10 and 10 here and here, and there's one seven and seven here and here. Again, giving a product of one. On the right side, we can simplify before multiplying. Four and 10 share a common factor of two. There are two twos and four and five twos and 10. Multiplying, we have 15 fourteenths. The solution to the equation is y equals 15 fourteenths. Now let's go back and solve the equation again by first clearing the fractions from the equation. Looking at the given equation, notice how we have denominators of five, two, and four. The least common denominator of all of these fractions would be 20. And therefore, to clear the fractions from the equation, we multiply both sides of the equation by 20. This would give us 20 times y over five plus y over two equals 20 times 3 fourths. Let's go ahead and show the distribution here. We'd have 20 times y over five plus 20 times y over two equals 20 times 3 fourths. And let's write 20 as a fraction with the denominator of one. Simplifying before multiplying, there's one five and five and four fives and 20. We now just have four times y, which is four y plus. Again, simplifying, there's one two and two and 10 twos and 20. We have 10 times y, which is 10 y equals on the right, there's one four and four and five fours and 20. We have five times three, which is 15. On the left, four y plus 10 y is 14 y. We have 14 y equals 15. The last step is to multiply or divide to isolate y. 14 y means 14 times y. 
to solve for y, we divide both sides by 14. And of course, we get the same solution, y equals 15 fourteenths. So here are two correct ways to solve the given equation. I hope you found this helpful.